and welcome back if it is your first time here my name is Wangoyo Karaoke and on this channel we talk about motorcycle life and motorcycle travel so if you're a beginner rider or someone who's looking to start riding this is the channel that you need to subscribe to so take a moment right now press the subscribe button and the bell right next to it and you'll always be notified every time I put up a video now today's video is a video about my riding back home from Ebru TV where I did an interview with the millionaire's mind. By the way, if you missed that video, I'm putting the link in the description box. You can watch it after this video. I used Kawangware 46 Road back home. It was raining. It was messy. Ah, I want you to watch. Let me not preempt this. I want you to watch this video. And at the end of this video, I would like you to help me with two things. One, we need to call out the person who's responsible for fixing Kawangware Road because Kawangware people deserve better. Two, we need to be more active when it comes to road safety and bullying on the road. You're going to see why in this video. Please share with me in the comment section below how we can address these two things because Kawangware people deserve better. Without further ado, welcome to the video and I hope you enjoy it. Whoa! <laughs> so it is raining. Well, 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 I didn't expect it to rain, so I didn't carry my rain gear. So it's going to be a ride in the wet. <laughs> and I'll share that experience with you. This is a news, news room, uh -huh. the news team. I think the, the, the gentleman who actually brought you in, that's the head of our news department. Ah, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you're a fan of news, but I've introduced you to some of them. Yeah? Would yeah, you? yes, let okay. me say hi. Awesome, you, sorry. Even if I I have worn my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll cover the camera. <laughs> it's on. Hi guys. Hi. So, this lady is called Wamoyu Karuki. She's a biker. She's been to 20 plus countries all over the world. She's an entrepreneur. Just wanted to say hi. 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 I also want your bike. You want my bike? Yes, you go with it and send me your number, I'll send you the performer invoice. <laughs> but you sell them? No, I don't sell motorcycles. I sell motorcycle gear. Yeah, riding gear, safety gear. Yeah. Thank you, nice meeting you. Keep doing good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a bigger one, the one I traveled with, it's bigger than this. Really? But, but I don't like using it in the city. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, they designed them so well that they don't seep in water. Oh, okay. You would have to put that water by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Enfield. Enfield. This Enfield. is a place in UK, right? Yes. But it's an Indian bike. Oh, I see. Mm. Awesome. tomorrow on Ebru TV Millionaire's Mind tomorrow at 7 30. <laughs> okay see you on the show Me 
Niko sawa. Asante. Lesson number two from this ride is always prepare your helmet for all weathers. Now my visor is fogging. I have to keep it open. It's still raining and the splash of dirty water from the cars means that I'm likely to get my glasses dirty as well. When that happens, I have to stop and look for water to clean my glasses and clean the visor. If you're watching this video and you have a plug for anti-fog for helmet visors please put it in the comment section below for me and other people who will watch this video who probably go through this all the time riding when it rains sawa sawa we will appreciate thank you Something that I don't understand about Nairobi is when it rains, it's like it rains cars. All of a sudden there is heavy traffic that is unexplainable because before the rain, the traffic was moving and moving well. Anyway, it started building up. I'm heading towards Kangore 46, that's the route I'm using to go back home. And this road can get nasty soon. I pity all these people that are passing because I don't know what time they'll get home. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. At least it looks like it's opening up. There wasn't oncoming traffic. There's a notorious junction up the road where people just block each other, so this is a good sign. understand why people think that motorcycle riders don't have a right on the road this guy was just flashing flashing behind this guy he's heavily loaded on that motorcycle it's wet it's slippery and just have the courtesy on the road share the road be kind to others is it so much to ask anyway we've reached that junction that is usually a mess so let me cross over
this is the nastiest intersection in this world. Thanks uh, God there's a hope, as you can be here for me. These buses and the turtles are the one to be here. Well, thanks God for the call. I think Kalangari people deserve better than this and whoever is responsible for this road and this market area needs to be called out to get the job done. There is sewage water overflowing onto the roads and lots of potholes. The market, oh yes, we are in a terrible state and when it rains it even gets worse. Please, let's call out whoever is responsible for this area. Kawangwari people deserve better. When I said Kangwari people deserve better, oh my god, did you see how deep that bottom is? It's not even like a bottom, it's like a trench right there. Ah. Huh. Eh, eh. This needs to be fixed.
Wait, ah, oh, oh, Have you scared go at 46 way? Kuna mahali iko shimo mguu ya basi inapotelea. I honestly hope you have enjoyed that video and all the lessons that have come with it. Riding in the rain is a skill and if you haven't done it yet, just know that one day you will be caught up in the rain and you better get yourself prepared by learning how to ride in the rain. Now, please join me in calling out whoever is responsible for fixing Kawangware 46 Road. Kawangware people deserve better. They deserve better. Let, let us call the person responsible out and make sure that road is fixed, the trash is removed, and the sewer lines are fixed because they are overflowing into the road. Secondly, let's all share the road. And let's always talk to our relatives, our friends, because these are the people who disrespect riders on the road. It is the people who do not ride that we know that do not have respect for riders on the road. Remind them that that rider they disrespect could be you or could be someone else, mother, father, sister, brother, you know, loved ones. We all have people who love us and are looking forward to see us back at home. So let's share the road. Road safety is everybody's responsibility. It starts with me, it starts with you, and only then we are going to reduce the death or the road carnage on our roads. If you have watched this video this far and you've never subscribed to my channel, Aki, seriously, what are you waiting for? Able take this moment and press that subscribe button down here. And then of course the bell right next to it so that you never miss out on any videos that I put up. And after this video, please, Head to Throttleware, check out our newest brand under Throttle Adventures. Throttleware is your perfect adventure wardrobe. Bye.